also known as Homemaking with Marissa, on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Today's video is going to be my 2020 Christmas home tour and decorate with me. I'm going to take you through how I decorated my house for this Christmas season. If you're new and haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button down below, as well as turning on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload. Two thousand and twenty has been a unique year for everyone, myself included. I currently have an elementary school classroom set up in the corner of my living room, and while I contemplated taking components of this down, I decided that this is where my son is accustomed to learning, and I'm not going to change that for the sake of putting up additional Christmas decor. In this video, I will be sharing how I decorate my mantle and my hearth for Christmas, my hutch, and the remaining components of my living and dining room. My absolute favorite area to decorate in my home for Christmas, in addition to my children's room, is the mantle and the hearth. I like to come up with a concept that is homey, and just creates a really cozy, warm, inviting environment in our home. This is what I came up for this year. A bulk of these items came from either Target or Hobby Lobby. If you have any specific questions about where items came from, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will try to give you specific links to the items that I have used in this video. I thought that updating our wood caddy would be a nice way to incorporate some decor that was also going to be functional. This is a piece that came this year from Target and I think it's going to display our logs perfectly and will also be an item that we'll be able to utilize when we're ready to burn a wood fire. I have a traditional Christmas style when it comes to determining what type of decor I want to add into my home. I like reds and greens. I like to have pine cones. This particular piece of garland has some poinsettias and holly berries in it. This came from Costco a number of years ago and was originally a pre-lit piece of garland, though the lights burn out a number of years ago. I've since wrapped it in some string lights that are battery operated and came from Amazon. I have a small table at the very end of my hallway that I do decorate seasonally. For Christmas, I am just adding these wooden trees that came from Target a couple of years ago. I like them because they add a little bit of Christmas flair. Everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. My mom made this wreath a number of years ago. She went through all of my childhood Christmas ornaments and made one of these for each of her children. She found all of our first ornaments from when we were babies and then an assortment of 
ornaments that were on our family Christmas tree. This wreath is extremely nostalgic for me and I love looking at all of the different ornaments and just reflecting on these being on my childhood Christmas tree. I think that if someone is looking for a gift that's going to be extremely sentimental and you have adult children that maybe you're not still displaying their baby ornaments, this is a perfect gift and something that I have cherished and will continue to cherish for years to come. If you have watched any of my prior clean and decorate videos, you've heard me talk about displaying items that were inherited from my great grandmother. This particular ornament is something that I pull out every Christmas. It's a glass Santa Claus and she gave this to me right before she passed away. It has her handwriting on the box and it's something that I like pulling out every year. It's really meaningful to be able to see someone's handwriting that has passed away. Unfortunately, the foot of this little Santa Claus ornament did break a couple of years ago. I've tried to find replacements on Amazon and haven't had any sort of luck. If you know where online I can find antique glass ornaments like this, go ahead and comment down below. I am going to stick this in the corner of my hatch where it will be kept away from the children and it's also where I house her china. This china was something that I did inherit after she passed away. I thought that this gather here with a grateful heart sign would tie together the holiday season of Thanksgiving as well as Christmas. It's still pretty early in the season and I am going to hold off on putting up my Christmas tree until after Thanksgiving. Now I'm going to move on to just decorating this table and changing out my wall art. These Santa canvases came from Hobby Lobby. I did buy them this year so I know that they are currently available. I have been eyeing these for the last several years and finally purchased them when everything was 50% off. I'll show you how I arranged my little flower arrangement. The carboy came from Target. It was actually a pretty affordable for price for the size of it. It was $39.99 which it's a very heavy, thick piece of glass and it's a pretty sizable jar. So I thought that that was a pretty good deal. These Christmas tree picks came from Target as well and they were $5 a piece. I decided to get two of the flocked pine twigs with the pine cones and one twig of holly berries and then just arrange them in a way where I felt like it looked like it went together well. I just tried to kind of manipulate the holly berries to go around the pine twigs. I think that it turned out really well and is really a statement piece in this area of the living room.
have seen a number of really beautiful tablecloths for the holiday season and as much as I would like to have one, I just don't feel like it's abundantly practical for my life with small children. I do however use a table runner throughout the year. This particular runner came from Hobby Lobby and says Merry Christmas on both sides. Table runners are something that's very affordable and can be swapped out seasonally. I'm going to decorate my table runner with a number of different items that came from the Target dollar spot last year. Small picks are intended to go on a name tag on a dinner plate. I thought that they would complement some of the other pieces that I have throughout the home and that they would make a really nice centerpiece. easily swap this out with natural elements instead of using something artificial like I am. If I had things like this in my area that were more readily available, I would probably opt to have fresh items versus these plastic pieces that I'm using. You do have to play around with it quite a bit to get them to look right, but eventually I am satisfied with the outcome and think that everything is really cohesive and goes together nicely. I did end up adding a couple of additional pieces that my children made. I have talked about this before, but kids absolutely love it when their parents display their artwork. These little dump trucks came from Home Depot, I think? Home Depot or Lowe's. They were distributed. It was a project that you could do with your children. So my husband helped both of our younger boys build these little trucks and they absolutely love that I have added them to our table centerpiece. I recently shared a Christmas clean and decorate video for my children's bedroom, their bathroom, as well as their outdoor play area. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and leave it in a card above. If you would like me to share how I decorate my Christmas tree, decorate my master bedroom, as well as our kitchen for Christmas, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that that's something that you're interested in.
If you enjoyed this video and haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face right here. I also will include my entire Christmas playlist here as well as an additional video for you to watch here. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy. Bye!